sum of the two digit number and the number found by interchanging the digit plus one ten. Okay. So what they mention sum of the two digit number and form the interchange number. So you are adding the original number as well as the reversed number. Interchange means reversed number. So if you are having x y, so this is a tens place. So ten in the x is a ones place y. So interchange means x y, y x. So ten y x. This is a formula right. So let x be ten place. Y B unit place. That's only they given. Okay. So what we are going to do? What they mentioned? Sum of these two number. Original. This is a original number. Original number plus new number. Interchange number equal to what? One ten. They already mentioned. So one ten. So what is the original number? Original number is original number ten x plus y. New number is 10y plus x. Okay, so adding this number, I'm getting a 110. So 10x plus y plus 10y plus x equal to 110. So adding x x, so 11x. Adding y y, 11y equal to 110. So dividing 11, so x plus y is equal to 10. First equation. Then what they given? So if 10 is subtracted from the first number, okay, 10 is subtracted from the Original number, okay. Uh, new number is four more. The new number is four more than five times of the sum of the first digit number. So what they mention? So what I am having in this place is. Plus y is the original number, right? Subtracting ten, what I am getting? Four more five times of sum of the digit of the first number. Sum of the digit of the first number is what? So first number is I don't know. X is my tens. So x plus what? Y is my unit. So x plus y. So x plus y because I'm taking this one day I don't know what so 10x plus y equal to this is moving this place plus 4 plus 5x plus 5y so 10x plus y minus 5y minus 5y equal to 14 so 5x minus 4y equal to 14 so this is your second equation. Okay. So I can write by using the okay five x minus four y. I can write like this, right? Because I know cross pro, uh, cross multiplication method, substitution method, and eliminator method. Which one is convenient for you? You will do that. Okay. So for my convenient, I'm using a cross multiplication method. I will send the proper notes. Okay, so cross multiplication means so first you write a y terms number one minus four, then constant minus ten minus fourteen, then y x one five, then x y one. So cross multiply of this. So x by one into minus fourteen minus fourteen minus into minus plus. We already having a negative. Mm, so plus plus into minus minus four. Forty equal to y by directly. So ten minus fifty. So minus 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 into plus minus. Then we having a minus. So positive fourteen ones are fourteen. Why this is minus four? This is minus five. Okay. And what we have? So x by adding this minus fifty go. Having a sum as two means. Four. Add that number. So subtracting this value, what you get in minus thirty six. So one by adding this minus nine. So this term is equal to this. This term is equal to this. So x by minus fifty four equal to one by minus nine. So y by minus thirty six one by minus nine. So this is cross multiply. So x is equal to minus fifty four by minus nine. Cancelling this. So minus minus cancel in nine table fifty four is six times. 
So y is equal to minus 36 by minus 9. The so, y is equal to 0. Minus minus cancels. Uh, 4 times. Therefore, the the original number. That's only first thing. You know, the original number x y is equal to 64. Are you clear? That's it. Then the sum of the numerator and denominator of the fraction is. So uh, numerator numerator this is the second set numerator equal to x denominator equal to y so i'm taking so sum of this numerator plus denominator so you are in a fraction form okay so fraction form what's the fraction form x by y so adding x plus y is equal to what dimension 12 so what dimension the denominator is increased by 3 the fraction becomes 1 by 2 so x is as it is my denominator is increased 3 so y plus 3 is equal to what's your fraction by 2 so cross multiplication so 2x is equal to y plus 3 convert into this place plus 3 equal to 0 okay so by using the solving method so i am taking so this 3 is on the place okay i need a y alone taking so this is the first equation this is the second equation so first equation x plus y equal to 12 second equation 2x minus y is equal to 3 so this and this so i can cancel this so adding this 3x is equal to 12 so 15 so x is equal to 15 multiplication on this place so cancel 5 times so x is equal to i am adding up 5 then substitute x in which 1 or 3 whatever it is 1 or 2 your wish so 1 so x plus y equal to 12 so 5 plus y is equal to 12 so y is equal to 12 minus 5 so y is equal to subtracting this i'm getting a 7 is my answer so so fraction the fraction of this format only the question the fraction so fraction is equal to x by y that's equal to the x phi by 7 is a fraction that's it okay then the third question a b c a b c d is a uh, cyclic quadrilater such that angle a is this angle b is this angle c is this angle d is this find the four angles so we are going to find out the four angles so actually uh, actually we are in the quadrilateral uh, in your geometry we will learn about the detail so don't worry about that first of all you know about this thing okay so cyclic quadrilateral so cycle means you know circle so quadrilateral means four side figure water figure square rectangle rhombus whatever figure you need you will take so what they mention third question somehow so we have they given the four angles so find out the four angles they are given just add the word so this i am having a b c d so i am having these angles so we are having a so what are the given they we have a is equal to 4y plus 20 degree angle b is equal to 3y minus 5 degree angle c is equal to 4x degree angle d is equal to 7x plus 5 degree these are the angles they given find out the what you are going to find find four angles means five four angles means angle a angle b angle c angle d so you are going to so first of all you know about the property so property of property of uh, i can't mention anything okay quadrilateral a b c d cyclic quadrilateral a b c d is so opposite angle sum of opposite angle is equal to 180 degree what is the opposite angle a is opposite to so a plus c is equal to 180 degree then this and this angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degree so what's my angle a? I am adding 4y, 4y plus 20. What's my angle c? 4x equal to 180 degree. So the same. What's my angle b? 3y minus 5 degree. 5x plus 5 degree is equal to 180 degree. So solve and get this answer. So now we are getting 4y plus 4x equal to 180 degree minus. 20 so 4x 
plus 4y is equal to subtracting this 160. So first equation. So 7x this and this cancel 7x plus 3y is equal to 180 degrees. So this is my second equation. Solve and get this answer. Okay. So I already did this sum. So by using the elimination method I am doing. So for my convenient I am neglecting a y. That's why I am multiplying into 3. So 3x. So first equation multiply into 3. So 3x plus 3y equal to 120. So second equation cancelling this. So subtract uh, interchanging the sign and I can cancel. So minus 4x equal to minus 62. So minus minus cancel x equal to 60 by 4 equal to 15 degree. And substitute x value in... Um, First or second equation. Okay. Second equation. X in 1. Okay. X plus Y equal to 40. Then 15 is my X plus I am adding my Y value. Then I know X equal to 15 degree. Y equal to 25 degree. The given angles are angle A equal to 4 Y. So substitute Y value and X value. Get your angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. So these are these angles when they are asking right. Then I complete that my. I find out my angles. That's it. Then, so what they mentioned in the fourth question on selling a TV at 5% gain and a refrigerator at 10% gain, shopkeeper gains rupees 2000. If he sells the TV at 10% gain and the refrigerator 5% loss, okay, gain 1500 on the transportation, find the actual price of so the same convenient or convenient I am taking refrigerator okay so we are going to find out so what is the original actual price so fourth question so I am taking the cost of uh, TVX cost of fridge equal to Y okay what they mentioned 5 percentage of so 5 percentage of x plus 10 percentage of y is equal to what gain rupees 2000 so what percentage is converted to normal so x is 10 by 100 into y is equal to 2000 so 5x by 100 plus 10y by 100 equal to 2000 my denominator is common so i am writing in this place Okay, so in this place you can directly write common denominator because both are in 100. So cross multiplication. So 5x plus 10y is equal to what I am having 2000 into 100. So divided 5. So what I am getting x plus 10 2y is equal to. So in this place I am cancelling 24 10. 24 4 times right. 4 double 0 and this double 0 is so equation 1 then what they mention is all TV is gain and fridge is last 5 percentage so TV is a positive loss is a negative so 10 percentage of x minus 5 percentage of what y is equal to 1500 equal so the same in tx minus 5 y 100 y is equal to 1500 so cross multiply in x because denominator is a uh, now only it teach right denominator is common means you can cross multiply so divided by 5 so what you get 2x minus y is equal to 15 will come 3 0 so this zeros so second equation okay and uh, solve to get this answer so so I, for my convenient i am writing elimination method so 1 into 1 so x plus so first equation as usual I am writing second equation I need uh, I want to cancel y because I am having 1 as a negative that's why so throw it multiply into 2 so that's why 30,000 becomes 60,000 so adding this 5x adding this uh, what you have lakhs 1 lakh so x equal to 1 lakh by 5 so dividing this what you getting 2 so 2 times in 5 table this is 2 times 0 0 Okay. So this is 2, so 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, that's one day given. And 20,000. So substitute x in first equation and get to the 
y value then what is the actual value of so x is the actual value of tv which is 20000 uh, y is the actual value of the refrigerator fridge 10000 so y value you are getting 10000 x value you are getting 20000 that's why they are telling like this then the fifth question the two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 6 and if uh, 8 is a factor from each of the number the ratio becomes 5 is to 4 is to 5 so what they mention the two numbers i am taking the root two number i don't know what number so x and y whose ratio 5 is to 6 and um, that ratio 8 is subtracted from each of the number means this ratio subtracted 8 okay so each of the numerator as well as the denominator okay so what they mentioned ratio how can i write division with an x by y equal to this term 5 by 6 and uh, so what you are having cross multiply to get this answer so up to this only you know so x minus then what they given a okay so 8 is subtracted from the each of the numbers so these are the number x and y is my number so x minus 8 and uh, y minus 8 okay so if you having a, a is to b means you should write in a ratio from normal means a by b that format only we are writing so x minus 8 by y minus 8 equal to what's the value 4 by 5 that's only you given then cross multiply this so 5 into x minus 8 equal to 4 into y minus 8 then 5x minus 5 into 8 is a 40 equal to 4 into y is 4y minus 32 okay then this term is moving this place i need a variables one side so i finally calculate to get the second equation so substitute so for my convenient i'm changed i need my y term so y is equal to this is moving this place 6 x by 5 i'm taking this in my first equation for my convenience so 5x minus 4 for substitute my y in this so 6x by 5 so equalize my denominator so we are having 1 so 5 so 5 5 5 is a 25x division so we are having overall denominator common that's why i'm writing overall 5 equal to 8 so so subtracting this x equal to so cross multiply 8 into 5 so x equal to 40 i am getting then um, what i am getting in this place so substitute in the first equation y equal to 6 by 5 or the x 40 so cancel uh, in 5 times 48 times so 6 and 8 48 so what's the ratio of this number the ratio the ratio of this number two number is a x by y equal to 40 by 8 so if you cancel one you are getting the ratio of the number is a 5 is to 6 okay then the last two question uh, four indians and four chinese can do a pizza work in three days okay pizza work in three days and two indians and uh, five chinese can finish four works four days so what they mention so they are asking one indian how long to take and one chinese how long to take so i don't know so for my convenient so first of all i know so one day how much or one indian how long take the work Okay, one day then only i can know so one indian can do x days is equal to one work so how my convenient i'm taking one indian taking x days i don't know how many days taking okay because they're asking one indian one day so x days equal to one work so i need a one day work then i can find out how long it takes so i need a one day works equal this x is moving this way so 1 by x the same so one chinese can do y days i can't take the same alphabet work so work so for one day work 1 by y days so you clear this way is going this place okay so one day work how much take taking 1 by y so but what they mentioned four indians and four chinese so both are doing the work so one day work means so four day work means multiplying four on both sides so four by x so in this place four days so in this place so four 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 so how how long i'm taking four by x plus four by y is equal to how many days one by three but we are converted into one day right so three days work equal to sorry three days for one work but d equal to one day work means one day because i converted my x days for 1 by x means you should convert your days also for the convenience so you are having 1 by 3 or you clear then this is my first equation then the same for 2 indians and 5 indians equal to 4 days so 2 by x plus 5 by y equal to how long 1 by 4 so i am taking 1 by x equal to a 
वन बाय वाई इज इक्वल टू बी सो फोर ए प्लस फोर बी इक्वल टू वन बाय थ्री सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो ट्वेल्व ए प्लस ट्वेल्व बी इज इक्वल टू वन इज अ थर्ड इक्वेशन ओके देन द सेकेंड इक्वेशन टू ए प्लस फाइव ए बी इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर दैट इन प्लेस इज फोर इज मूविंग दिस प्लेस सो एट ए प्लस ट्वेंटी बी इज इक्वल टू वन ओके सो दैट्स वन डे आई डिड इन दट नो आई ऑलरेडी डिड द सम्स ओके सो वन इंजिन कैन डू एक्स डे वर्क इक्वल टू वन डे कैन वन इंजिन कैन डू वन डे वर्क इक्वल टू वन बाई एक्स वर्क ओके सो द सेम फॉर चाइन चाइनीज फॉर वाई डेज आई एम टेकिंग सो वन बाई वाई सो आई एम पोट वन बाई एक्स इक्वल टी वन बाई वाई इक्वल टू आई एम गेटिंग दिस सो फॉर माई कन्वे आई नीड क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिक आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन इक्वेशन शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो दैट्स वाई एम कन्वर्ट इन टू इक्वल टू जीरो देन सो बी टर्म एंड बी टर्म सो बी टर्म इज फर्स्ट राइट ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेंटी माइनस वन माइनस वन देन ए टर्म ट्वेल्व एंड एट Again, a beta of twelve twenty. So in this place, you should put a and b because we're taking alpha by a and b. Okay. So finally, I am directly multiply to twelve into minus one minus twelve. Okay. Twelve into minus one minus twelve. So we already know twenty into minus one minus twenty. In this place, we're having a negative. So minus into minus plus twenty. So b. Uh, so what we have minus one into minus a. Minus eight and uh, minus one into twelve minus. In this place, we are already having a minus. So minus into minus twelve equal to one by twelve into twenty two forty. So two forty. This is a uh, as usual eight into twelve positive. So minus into in this place minus ninety six. So solve. So in this place subtract. So eight by four equal to one forty. So subtracting, we are getting a one forty four. Then equal this term and this term, this term and this term. Find you are getting solve to get this. So equal to one by eighteen, b equal to one by thirty six. We already know a one by a equal to a. So I can write a equal to one by x also. So one by eighteen equal to one by x. So cross multiply so x equal to eighteen. So b equal to one by y. That implies one by thirty six equal to one by y. So cross multiplication y equal to thirty six. So so how can we take? So one Indian can do. Yeah, uh, how many days? 18 days for piece of work, one work. So I'm writing one Indian can do the piece of work for 18 days. One Indian, single Indian can do 18 days. One Chinese can do the same work for 36 days. That's it. Okay.